Hello guys, I hope everybody is fine. In today's video, we will be discussing about computational complexity. So, if I have one question in my mind that what is in, what is the complexity of algorithm? So, the complexity or computational complexity or complexity of an algorithm is one and the same thing. So, computational complexity is dependent upon two factors. Uh, one is time and one is space. They are most likely inversely proportional to one another. But again, if as a programmer, if I have to decide what complexity I should prefer to construct an algorithm or to construct a program. So the best thing is that uh, people basically prefer time complexity uh, to be a basic constraint rather than space complexity. Why? Because space nowadays is purchasable. So you can you have so many hard disks availability and so many cloud storage which are available uh, online as well. So it means uh, the important thing to consider is time complexity. But again, space complexity has its own uh, criteria. I will take a particular example regarding how time and space uh, complexity trade-off actually happens. So we'll take one example. Let's say I'll, I'll talk about uh, swapping of two numbers. So if I take this example, so guys, we all know that this can be done in two ways. If I use temporary variable and if I don't use temporary variable. So actually it can be done in two ways. One with the, with using temporary variable. If I'm using temporary variable, so uh, let's say the swap syntax would be swap int x, let's say int y, and I'm using temporary variable int temp, then I, I can use the logic of uh, uh, this temp is equal to x, x is equal to y, y is equal to temp. So this is the logic that I'm using. If I'm not using any uh, temporary variable, so I can actually swap two numbers by a particular uh, particular logic. The logic says, that I can write x is equal to x plus y, uh, y is equal to x minus y, and x is equal to x minus y. Again, the swapping of two numbers will happen. Now, why I took this example? Because space and time complexity constraints are there in both of them. If I take uh, the size of integer as a universal integer variable, as if I just take, because size of a, with a of a variable depends upon compiler, but I'm taking size of integer as two, right? So how I have to basically see if uh, two is the size, two bytes and two bytes are consumed here. So we are using two bytes over here, right? Now I'm basically doing the operation. So two bytes total, six bytes have been consumed as space, right? Now I'm just, uh, from the logic, how many steps I'm basically taking from the logic part only. Uh, guys, if it is taking one unit of time, if this is taking one unit of time and if this is taking one unit of time, so order of three uh, time, order of three is actually by default the order of one, but we are taking how many steps? Three steps to solve it. So as a time complexity, it is taking three steps. Now let's come to another part. Uh, let's just calculate uh, the int is size. Uh, two bytes over here and two bytes over here. So technically, as a programmer, it took only four bytes. Now let's just try to find out how many steps uh, of execution is there. Guys, as we all know that x is equal to x plus y. So it is something which is x plus y is assigned to x. So x minus y is assigned to y, x minus y is assigned to x. So firstly, x plus y is computed. And let's say that computation takes one unit of time. And after it is added, it is the assignment operation. It means it is assigned to x. So it is taking also one unit of time. 
after calculation of any operation is done again it is taking one unit of time after that it is assigned to this again that is also taking one unit of time one unit of time here one unit of time here so totally if i basically calculate so this actually took total six units of time and over here it means technically we performed six steps so six units of time so time complexity of that is order of six and over here time complexity is order of three i'm not taking the declaration part in consideration so guys it's very very simple that it is taking six units of time as a space it is covering four bytes it is taking six bytes of memory but as a time it is taking order of three so again, uh, if space is more, time is less. If space is less, time is more. So we would definitely prefer this algorithm. Why? Because as a time complexity that uh, is taking less units of time. So guys, this was regarding space and time complexity. Every program or every kind of computational uh, program or computational problem is having the constraint of time and space complexity. So as a programmer, uh, right now, you have to pref give preference to time over space. So this was regarding this lecture. If there is any doubt, you can always post on comment section and uh, you can always uh, ask your doubts. Uh, thank you. Kindly like, share and subscribe. Thank you very, very much.